Radio Raheem with Joseph Diaz. You know, Joe, you are climbing the ranks so quickly. Your incredible fan base keeps growing. First of all, talk to me about what it's like now to be, you know, at the level where you're not at the top of the card, but you've got a lot of people in the stadium coming to see you. Yes, it's a dream come true. I mean, I have a really great fan base, and I want to thank all my supporters for you guys' support. You guys are my motivation. I mean, uh, if it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't be in the boxing gym, man, because you guys are my motivation to stay in the gym, stay humble, and just, uh, you know, train hard. You know, you're knocking guys out, too. You stopped your last opponent in the third round with a, a, a small guy like you compared to, you know, bigger guys. How is it that you can harness that kind of power and still like be dropping guys? I think uh, just uh, transferring my weight, I mean, using my legs and uh, snapping my shots. Me, uh, my, my father and Ben Lira, we've been uh, practicing on, you know, throwing some power shots. So I've been transferring my weight a little more and uh, it's been working, man. I mean, I'm getting the guys out of there with some vicious body shots and some head shots. So it's been working. You know, one of the knocks is when guys are getting rid of their opponents so quickly and it looks easy when you do it, but you're not fighting tomato cans, you're fighting good competition. When you're in the gym and whatnot, what's it like for you to be thinking about not just how the win's going to come, but also not getting overexcited, not, you know, uh, pressing for the knockout? Yes, I'm not pressing for the knockout at all when I'm fighting. I mean, especially when I'm training, when I'm sparring and stuff, I'm just uh, focusing on all my mechanics. I mean, slipping, dodging, weaving, uh, you know, keeping my jab out. But in the fight, I mean, if the knockout comes, the knockout comes, but I'm not looking for it. I'm just going to, I'm just trying to land the best shots, the clean shots and the effective shots. And if it so happens to knock the guy out, then it knocks the guy out. You know, in your next fight, you're going to be fighting a, a journeyman, a guy who's been in the ring, uh, you know, over, I think, like almost 40 fights. And th that's probably the most experienced fighter you face. Now, are you doing anything differently to face an opponent with that kind of ring experience? Yes, this guy, uh, Luis, man, he ain't no joke. He's a, a veteran. He has all the experience in the world. Uh, he's a very uh, heavy-handed as well. So I'm not taking him lightly. I mean, this guy is, is coming to win to pull an upset. So I've been having a really good training camp. Uh, I've been... Uh, just doing the exact same thing that I've been doing this training hard uh, having strength and conditioning with Daryl Hudson of uh, training with my father and Ben Lira and I feel like I'm ready to go man I, there was nothing I needed to do major changes just uh, you know focus on my defense a little more and practice my offense but other than that man I've been doing everything the same now you know you're a humble guy but every fighter wants to be at the top of the card every fighter wants the spotlight how long do you think it'll take with your trajectory the way you're building to get you know headline status I'm hope uh, I'm hoping a year man uh, if not uh, well, hopefully by the end of this year I mean I'm, I'm planning on fighting five more times this year after this fight if not this year the next year hopefully I can headline one uh, Showtime Showtime card or a Fox Sports card whatever whatever man but uh, it's just up to Golden Boy Promotions my managers whatever they feel like I, whenever they feel like I'm ready then I'm ready man let's get it on and lastly Joe you know you're not so young now that you can't start targeting guys big names there has to be some at least a little hit list under your pillow talk to me about what guys you'd like to face if not right now in the near future I like to face uh, the champion at my weight and whoever's at my weight right now or uh, uh, that is going to be at my weight when I when I'm fighting for the title when I'm fighting for the title I, I like to fight him man because I, I really want the 122 pound title and uh, eventually move up in weight as well man but uh, whoever's whoever's the champion at that weight I want to fight them good luck Joseph Diaz thank you with Radio Raheem